the pandemic we should worry about. Mm. It's not the pandemic that I'm in pain. Yeah. I'm in pain because they will go to hell and be in torture down there forever. Oh. Or at least for hundreds of years. It depends on how, how much of meat you eat. One of our association member, my disciple, she went to hell and she saw people being grinded into minced meat. Oh, yes. Three, four, five times a day, it depends. Depends on how big the amount of meat. Yes, Master. The one who created this world and captured the souls, he counted every centimeter of your wrongdoing, every morsel of meat that you consume. Wow. We not let go. If you destroy his creation, he destroy you. He make you see that you should not. But he tempted you to do it. And then he punish you. That is the thing. That's why I hate these guys. Yes. I'm supposed to say, oh, it's okay, I forgive. No, I don't. I don't forgive this being, this okay. wicked, evil being. I forgive humans who sin, if they repent. Thank you, Master. The law of heaven. I, I could forgive all of them. It's just that they have to make their own part also. Yes. One percent part only, and I do the 99%. Wow. If they just repent in their heart, that's it, they'll go to heaven. Wow, okay. Repentance, sincerely. Yes. What will it take for that to happen? I don't know, sweetheart. I've been working all these decades, and many other saints and masters have been working all this time, since time and memory. And, but the Maya influence is too strong, yes. because we are gentle. They use magic, they use tactic, they use talk in the ear, murmuring, they use temptation, they use all kinds of things. It's all over, all around. Mm. And the saying, uh, only one or two. And his disciples are not many, especially in the old time, they're not that many. Yes. And nowadays we have more, and we have other co-workers, like uh, other vegan groups. Yes, Master. Vegan, vegetarian groups, uh, benevolent groups, they're working together. Yes. They came from heaven for these purposes. Oh, okay. Wow. In this time, they all have been sent down for this. So we're working together. Still is ingrained in people. Habit dies hard. I don't blame them either. I just feel so sorry only. For example, in our mind, it's been ingrained with something. It's like a computer. Yeah. Uh, even if you delete it, some experts still can dig it out. Yeah, that's true. The same on our brain computer. It's, it's more difficult to delete. It goes into subconscious mind and no one can delete that. Except the master at the time of initiation. There are some secret formula that he, she can do that. Wow. So the past karma, the past misdeed sin can be deleted. Okay. But the sin that has been laid down as a foundation for this lifetime cannot. Okay, yes. So after finishing this lifetime give and take, they can go to heaven because no more past karma to recycle. Ah, I see. To be going back to the circle again, to pay, to give and to take. You got that? Yes, Master. Otherwise, nobody can go out. If you finish this lifetime karma, you make new karma, you know, big or small, and you go back to the cycle again to pay, to give, to take. That's mm -hmm. why the devil wants to always tempt people to do bad so that they have to come back. And even do good, you have to come back to enjoy it. So the people who are rich, who are in a higher power position of the world, they came back because they have to enjoy their past life or lives, uh, good merit. That's why whatever we do, we have to credit it to God. We don't credit to ourselves. Okay. The Maya will write it down and say, okay, she says she did this good. She gave this person one dollar. So, of course, she has to come back to enjoy that because it will multiply. Okay. And she will be rich and all famous. So karma includes bad and good. Mm -hmm. If you do good, you have to enjoy it. Come back and enjoy it. So don't ever think that you do anything. Even work for SMTV, don't think that you're doing it. Give thanks every day that you are able to be a good, good, good instrument. Yes. To help others, and that is, should be our duty. But in the grace of God that we can do it. Yes, yes. Always give thanks. Never credit yourself. Never give your ego a chance to record it and give it to the devil to count for you. Yes, Master. Yeah. Okay. You will have interest. Good or bad. In the previous phone call, Master mentioned that heavens are being lenient with us humans. Is there a reason for the leniency? Yeah, we pray. We pray. Ah, uh, yeah. We pray. I pray. Remember I say I'm the lawyer for humans? Mm -hmm. Yes. I say they're innocent. 
Yes, they are innocent. They are not to be blamed. Yes, they have been pushed into the sea, swimming and been blamed for getting wet or drowned. Yes. They just been trapped in here and do whatever it takes in their situation and in their minimal knowledge because all the wisdom has been wiped from them or screen cover from them. Yes. They don't know anything anymore. They just do what the situation demands, okay? Okay, yeah. And are influenced from evil as well because of that. Is there any particular prayer or, or anything that Master would like to share with the world that would help people to remember God during such difficult times? It's just that and all my lectures. Mm. I don't know if it helps, or, but it does help some people. That's why we have uh, disciples. Yes, Master. But even disciples sometimes are also still low level and being badly influenced by the evil force and they do wrong things. Yes. To me particularly. Anything yeah. they do to me have the opposite yeah. effect yeah. and sometimes harmful to me. Yeah, if they are low level. That Maya force is taken away, but still something ingrained in people is still not yet completely clean. Yes, Master. They will not understand. If it's not completely clean, they don't understand what I'm saying. Okay. They don't blame the eating the animals instead, they just blame somewhere. We go into where where or who go where where to infect people uh, in a lab, a lab, yeah. and not the animals, eating habit. These people, they are genuine. They blame it genuinely. They did not make it up. They did not make it up just to blame each other. And some of the government are blaming each other also. They did not make it up. They really believe in it. Wow. It's a too heavy dose of evil influence in their brain, in their mind. Just like people are gravely ill, difficult to cure. Yes, Master. But the people are just the beginning of the sickness can be cured or mm. mild symptoms. Many of the people don't have symptoms at all. That means there are hundreds, at least, let me check the number. Okay. At least billions of people. At least one and a half billions of people right now are infected. Wow. I mean, carrying that strain, or one strain or another, but they don't have any symptoms. So you can never really control it well. But they can infect others. Of course they can. Oh. If you carry perfume on your body and your nose is dysfunction, you don't smell it, doesn't mean others cannot. Okay. If you have mud in your hands mm -hmm. and you, you don't see it because you're blind, but you can smear it on anywhere on the wall, on your table, on other people when you touch it. Ignorance of sin is no excuse for the devil not to punish you. You make the sin and they still punish you, even though you don't know. That is a sin. Yes, Master. You are pushed to make that sin. This is a stupid sin. Yeah. This system that I hate. It's got to stop. I will stop it. Just too long for mm -hmm. my liking. Master, recently, in the news, people have been going into the streets, like in the US, yes. to protest against the lockdown due to COVID-19. Yes. Some also don't wear masks. What does Master think of this? Uh, very worrisome, very worrisome. Yes. You can understand, you can, you can imagine. For but sure, yes. Nobody liked the lockdown, mm. nobody. The people, of course, never wanted that. And the government neither. Yes, Master. Yes, both sides have their own problem. The people are not used to with being in the house all this time, so long, weeks and months, and without work. Yes. And the government also don't want that, because they also have to pay a lot for yes. the people. Yes. And the government and the companies also have to pay. And so for many millions, Tens of millions of people out of work, and yeah. I don't really know also what to say. Yeah. I really wish we don't have this pandemic, because for the people to be locked down like that by order, and then also the police has to work extra to enforce it. Yes, Master. And so the energy between the government people and the police are not peaceful, of course. Yes. Even though the people know the police only do their job. Yes, Master. And the government only want the best for the people because they worry the pandemic will spread more out of control and everybody will get sick or die and worse. And even when they want to work, they cannot because they're sick or die. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're dying numbers now. 
body rotten on the street in some country because nobody take care and mm-hmm. not enough people to take care and some people don't dare to take care worry about the, the transmission. Yeah, oh my God. Things like that. Oh, And the government, of course, n- never want this. First, the people never wanted this. They are not used to it and they want to work to earn more money. See, even if the government gave them some social benefits, it's never as much as the government want to give because the fund of the government has also limits, yeah, and millions of people. So mm-hmm. how can it be given as generously as when you're working? Yes. When you're working, you can control your income, eh? The more you work, the more you get. That's right, yes, master. Get another job or double job, then you can have more money and you have more uh, working hours. So people feel very, very restricted and worry about their families. Not enough money to use. They have mortgage, they have car insurance. They have so many things, people outside, you know, they work hard because they have to spend a lot. The more you have, the more you have to work. So they cannot just stay home and feel okay about it. I hope they can find some meditation, some yoga, at least benefit their mental and spiritual side. And I hope that will help them a little bit to calm their nerves and to help them uplift their consciousness. I oh, hope so, yes, thank you, Master. And they might be able to accept the situation in a better way and praying for the better tomorrow. The government, I'm sure they don't want that. Because they know that people see the lockdown as the restriction of freedom. Yes. And in many of the free countries, this go against their constitution. Yes. But I don't think the government ever wanted this to happen. Nobody ever wanted it, either people or the government or the police. Everybody like peace and normal life. Yes, Master. Like this, every nation lost a lot, a lot of money because of business closed. Uh, lack of tax and lack of workforce and lack of food supply and medical supply and all kind of supply are lacking right now because the people cannot go out, cannot work, cannot spend. And many food cannot sell in the restaurant, and in the supermarket or other small shop. Many related to food are rotten. A lot more business, lost more money, more subsidized for different businesses. So no government ever wanted this kind of thing. And they know well it's against the people's favor. And even the people know that. They also cannot just sit, some of them, not bear it. Yes, Master. Their children need something and their family needs some extra income. They're subsidized from the government or the, the company are, are limited. Yes, Master. And that's already very good. Imagine if the government don't give them any money. Yeah, true. They would be starving inside their house. Oh, my. In some country, if don't have government subsidized because of too many people, or it's a poor country, then people are worse off. They don't have anything. Like mm-hmm. some country, people sell things on the street, and that's their income, and they live from hand to mouth. And now it's very, very... Oh. Poor people. It's desperate for them. Yes, Master. Desperate for everybody. And worry in their heart, in their mind, and troublesome in their mental thinking every day. Every day is bad news. Nothing good yet. So many doctors die and nurses Mm. die and hospital personnel die because of this disease as well. They're on the front line and they got sick easily. Also not enough equipment to protect them personally. Mm. That is a terrible situation for our world right now. It seems so desperate. Yeah, the longer it lasts, I don't know where people are going. I don't know if the government even have enough money to continue to hand out, mm-hmm. subsidize for people who, who are out of work because of the COVID-19. Yeah. I feel sorry for the government also because <laughs> they, they cannot not lock people down and they cannot let people out. Yes. They are like stuck in between. They also want to. Yes. Some government, some state or some area would have want to give in and let people go to work. But in many places, I heard it in Japan, they thought it's okay and they released the lockdown and then immediately, oh, it jumped. Oh. The death and the infected numbers jumped so high. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's so, an example. Very mm-hmm. scary right now, so... I'm sure people also don't want to go protest 
to cause trouble for the police and for themselves, uh, to be in jail and for to be cop and all that. It's just that uh, everyone is desperate right now. People are desperate to go back to normal and they worry about their future if their money no more. The saving is going low or none. And the government are desperate. They want to help their people. They want to protect their people. And they just have to just do that and just stand by and watch. That's why some leaders of government, they're blaming each other because they are so worried and so desperate for their people. Yes, Master. Every leader wants to help their people. Like this, they feel helpless. They feel helpless in their position. Oh. So the best thing they can do is uh, to protect the people, to keep people in the house so that they don't get infected. Yes, Master. Or if they are mildly affected or they are immune against this, even though they carry the virus, they will not infect other people. Yes, Master. Okay. So it's best to stay at home? I think until it is sure that the infection is really under control for the people's health and life sake. Or people have to think of the way to protect themselves when they go out. Similar to the nurses and the doctors in the hospital. Complete protection until everything is sure under control. I wish people can also be free to move around. It's just very scary for them right now. Pray God, pray God, pray God. Pray God that everything will be more clear and better. And that people will understand the real root cause of the problem. Because we always had plague and infection and epidemic, uh, pandemic. So they should understand the root cause of the problem. Pray that they come soon. Otherwise, uh, we cannot just rely on science. This yes, is yes. a short-term solution. A long-term solution is that we have to become more like the children of God. Yes, Master. More Buddhas. Then everything will be fine. Pray God. Pray God. Pray everyone. It's not only money and job. Some people have just a very small studio and apartment. Yeah. Truly very small. For example, in Japan, Tokyo, or in Hong Kong, where land are very uh, precious, yes. space are almost impossible to expand, and people live in just a very, very tiny, divided apartment. Like a normal apartment, maybe four square meters, they divide it into three or four, you understand? Yes. And each one live in one. And normally, if they can go out, it doesn't matter. They go out to work, and then they go out in the park or in the shop, and they go eat in restaurant, and then they come back to sleep only and take shower. Then it's okay. Yeah. But now they cannot go out at all. Yes, master. So difficult. Yes, the poor people are the most affected. Yeah. Oh. And that's why they just broke out. So you can't blame them, and you can't blame the government. I also don't know what to say. Oh. Just pray. Yes, master. Master, if the situation was to reverse quickly, if we all went total vegan, how quickly would the energy change of this world and would the virus completely disappear? It will change almost immediately. It's just that what is already on, we have to carry for a while. But shorter than if it hasn't. Okay. They have to find a vaccine. But then, even then, it's through the grace of heaven and through the diminishing of the retribution karma, the interference of good people, saints, sages, and benevolent people, vegan people. And for example, like my disciples or other disciples or the good group outside, because of all this benevolent energy that minimizes it and heaven's leniency okay. because of interference yeah. from Master. Thank God for I, Master. I forever argue, but still it's too heavy karma. I have to be fair also. If they continue to torture animals, that won't help. If they will die one day or another. It's just the torturing, the imprisoning, the, the, the way they treat it. It's evil. Yes, Master. Yes. The evil energy will breed evil energy. Heaven cannot just ignore the cry and the suffer and the moaning and the lamenting of the beings, the living beings, like 
innocent, intelligent, benevolent animals. Yes, Master. Wise, innocent, benevolent, helpful. Yes. Is there anything more that uh, the disciples can do? I mean, I know we're doing it, but maybe there's something more that we could do. Maybe go out into the streets or I don't know. Oh, Try to wake any people up. group already go out in the street. It's fall into deaf ear. I affect a handful of people. We have to save time to meditate, to pray. Yes. Each one has different uh, job. Okay, yes. That is a job of all the group. Got it, Master. Yeah, they still have to do it, of course. It will influence somehow, some degree. We do different things. We must pray in silence. We must meditate. Okay. For the world to go vegan. World vegan will breed lasting world peace. Will breed benevolent energy for all beings, including humans. And then they won't get such sickness again. Even if they have to go through this sickness now, they turn vegan in the future. We don't have any more pandemic or epidemic anymore. Yes. Our world has forever pandemics and epidemics. Because we continue to kill. Look back at the history. Black plague or bubonic plague and the measles. Even now the measles are coming back. Oh, wow. For example, and Ebola in some countries, we have not just a virus, a COVID-19. We don't just have that. We have all the looming threat everywhere. And if they continue to eat wild animals or animals, they're going to have another black soon or brewing. And every time it's hopeless because they have not encountered these things before. Yes, yes. And then they don't know the nature of virus. Up to now, still don't. For everybody, it's a guessing game and blaming game. Stop blaming each other. Mm. Oh, that's useless to blame. Now is the time for the world to recognize that we all face it together. Yes. And we all have one enemy. That is the evil. And that has driven us to eat meat and to sin. Therefore, we have this consequence. So we have to unite together, recognize all that, and stop that. Stop from the root. Not watering water from the leaves, but water the tree from the root. The root cause is the wicked way, the devil way, evil way that we treat other beings. Innocent, helpless, harmless, and helpful beings. Yes. Intelligent beings, benevolent beings, wise beings, our helpers, our teachers, our friends, yes. our benefactors, the animals. That's the root of all this problem in the world, of all ills, war. Hmm. When the world does go vegan, Master, how do you see this world? How do you see humans? Peace, happy, never any sickness of that again. Except the small sickness maybe have to pay because of the laid out plan for this life. Yes, Master. So even Master has to undergo it. Because if you don't have this uh, blueprint of a lifelong plan for your lifetime, for your physical existence, you can't exist. Just like a house, have a blueprint and they're built accordingly. Yes, Master. And it has permission already. You can't just demolish it for no reason. You can't change it. You already have a blueprint, the constructing plan. Yes. Approved by the government. Okay, yes. If you change, you have to make another one. Okay. Another one meaning the person has to die to change it. But the way they're doing bad deeds with their life, they will make it a worse blueprint only next time. They can't change it, okay? Yes. They have to come back and repay all the deeds, bad deeds. As you sow, so shall you reap. Yes, Master. They so clearly in any scriptures of the religions. No need me to say anything anymore. People just don't want to understand. Yeah. The bad influence of the evil make them blind, deaf, dumb. Yes, Master. So the thing I told you is so clear, like the sunlight, but for them, eh, what? What did you say? They don't even understand, they don't even hear anything. Yeah. Hearing you hear, but you do not listen. Seeing you see, but you do not perceive. Yes, Master. It's what said in the Bible. Otherwise, uh, one Master came down enough to save all already. Yes. But now that we do away with the Maya, so soul don't get trapped in here anymore, afterward, in the future. Yes, Master. If they are vegan right now, except the small or some inevitable consequences of the past karmic deeds that they have to endure this lifetime, we don't have any more pandemic, we don't have any more sickness. We will have forever peace between nations. Wow. Everyone will be happy, have everything to eat. 
all the harvest will be plentiful again. And we'll be friends with the animals. Yeah, animals will have peace also. Yeah. All beings will have peace. Oh, good. Can't wait. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Thank you. Never one day I forget. Never one day I'm not working for it. I believe you must. I know, for sure. Master, your universal worth, that is intact now. I remember last time. Yes, yes. yes. It has been cheap a little bit, but uh, I'm... I have more in reserve, so it cheap a little bit. Whenever I have to see people, I don't see people, but just sometimes accidentally, for example. Like if I just walk out and then uh, accidentally that person there. Okay. Up to now only some, okay? It's manageable. If I have to travel out to go to another area, I change area already. It's time to change. So I travel at night, so I don't see people a lot. If I have to talk to you right now, and if you broadcast it, then it will chip. If it's in the world or how world, then I will lose a lot. But I will make it back. Don't worry. Not just worth spiritual merit and physical health and uh, all kind of thing. Yes, it will happen unfavorably. But I tell you, I'm ready to lay down my life. So, mm-hmm. what else to talk about? Understand. Thank you for your love, Master. Thank you. Always. Uh, <laughs> I'm born with it. (laughs) (laughs) I made a song, uh, What Can I Do With My Heart, you know? (laughs) Yes. It's so lovely. Um, Another question from a sister. It's um, on a different um, line. Could Master share more about the newly mentioned uncreated universe? What kind of beings reside there? How can I tell you something that you've never heard of and (laughs) could never imagine? Uh, I could not tell you. Okay. I just tell you that there are such words. Johnny Oscar, never born, never die, uncreated. It's like God. How can I describe God to you? Yes. Except I say God is forever loving. Understand. There is nothing to describe because they don't have a resemblance of any beings on this planet or any planet, even Eosku. Wow. There's no resemblance of anything Mm -hmm. that is ever created. Just like God Almighty. You know, you feel, maybe you believe He exists. She, he has exist. But you do not know what has looked like. You cannot describe it, okay? Yes, Master. Okay. And the fifth level beings, you can't describe already. Not to talk about outside of the shadow world. Yes, Master. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, one question from a brother. How can those who serve God be better tools for God? Are there any new tips or information, um, physically or spiritually, that Master may know that can help those who serve be more capable? I may know, but you might not be able to. (laughs) Humility. Ah, Humility. Respect. Okay? Yes, Master. Because if I say that, it seems like self-serve. You have to respect your Master. Of course. The one that saved your souls and many of your generations. Number one. Number two, you have to be humble. Yes, Your tools. Always be grateful to God's grace that you are able to do this noble job. Never think that you are doing it because that you stop the flow of the blessing, stop the flow of inspiration. Yes, Master. Always be humble, 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 and grateful. That's all. Okay. Oh, humble. Okay. Humble. Yes. <laughs> Train yourself to do it if you can. The problem is, each one have ego. Yeah. It's difficult to think that uh, it's not you who do it. You understand that. It's just that you cannot practice very well. The more you can practice that, the more your talent will bloom and on to the higher levels. Okay. So that's what I can tell you. Humble, grateful, respectful. Respectful for your master. She represents high heaven. She represents God Almighty. You must respect. Yes, Master. And you will have more marriage, more beautiful happenings in your life, more happiness, more leisure, more lightness, more improvement in your meditation and in your work and your talent, anything. And then humble. That respect and gratefulness also included in humility. So maybe it's too much to talk to you and just say humility, okay? Okay. <laughs> Humbleness. Because if you're humble, then you feel grateful. You know, you are nobody, then you are grateful. Yes. Whatever you are given, your talent or whatever. Yes, Master. And if 
you are humble, then you are grateful for the initiation which save your soul forever, and many generations, your generation forever. And if you are humble, then you also be respectful to your master who helped you hmm? yes, unconditionally. Thank you. Oh, humility, one word, humble, <laughs> humbleness. Any more questions? Ah, uh, that's it. I thought you scare me with twenty plus well, questions. Listed there are twenty, but they kind of overlap, and Master covered quite a bit already. Don't okay, my it. calendar, famous calendar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you. because one thing we always lead to the other, you know. Yes. It can never be just black and white in this field of spiritual discussion. That's true. So if I have covered it all, then uh, wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. I'm not so scared anymore. <laughs> oh. When you say twenty plus, I say, oh my God, <laughs> we have to talk for hours on end or what? <laughs> all right, that's it. And uh, thank you all for the job that you have done well uh, last time with the uh, instruction. Mm. Yes, Master. And this time, I think you will also be well. Yes, we will do the same. We are nothing, okay? Okay. In this physical domain, I still am very humble. You don't see it, but I am. Yes. I'm always thanking all the goddesses. Even today I talked with the god of war for some question. And I thank him. He is in the shadow world and he is not the big god. But I still thank him with all my respect, truly. I respectfully salute him and thank him for doing a good job. Wow. And thank him for answering me. But I cannot disclose this conversation, okay? Understand, yes. I also need to talk to uh, some local country god. Each country has a god. Wow. Who oversee their doing. He is not influencing anything. He is just recording, okay? Okay. Yes, yeah. so that he can put it in the Akashic library, in all human activities, okay? Yes. Nothing is ever lost. Whatever you do, whatever you think, <laughs> whatever you don't do, is all there. Wow. We can never deny our sins. We can never cover it. We can never hide the transparency of the universe. Yes, Master. We have the body, so we don't have to know too much of other people's wrongdoing or hidden uh, sins. And that's a blessing also, because if we know, we will be sick, vomiting, and we'll be not able to bear the inside of them, not just the outside. Even we see the animals suffering, torturing like that. We suffer so much already. Not to talk about to know everybody else sinful thinking and act. Yes, ma'am. Hidden from physical eyes. In this physical world, we have a physical body. It is an obstruction, but it is a blessing. Okay. Today I have talked. Yesterday, the day before, I talked to uh, quite a few different goddesses for different things. Wow. I'm always grateful. Yes, Master. I'm very grateful even to my dogs when they tell me something. Oh, yes. I thank them. I thank the spiders, and I promise them to take them up to heaven. Master, that does come across, that you are always grateful. Oh, I see. Yes, for sure. What I mean is I'm telling you this so that you know that I'm not just telling you things. I'm doing it myself. Yes. That's why I know the depth of that meaning, okay? Yes. Because if you just blah, 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 it won't affect people too much. Yes, So Master. I think you can benefit from my attitude my humble energy, and to do the same, okay? Yes, Master, thank you. Pray for that. You cannot feel yourself humble enough, pray for it. Please, make me more humble, as humble as possible, so that I can serve God. I can serve the suffering. Yes, Master. Lessen their anguish and sorrow, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, Master, yes, we pray. <laughs> you just touch my heart again. I cannot, I cannot forget. We'll keep praying, Master. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, any more that you're not clear, you can ask me. I say I'm scared, but I'm not that scared, okay? You can ask me hundreds of questions. <laughs> as long as it help you, help all of your co-staff, and help the world, I'm willing to sit all day to talk. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that's all. That's all we have. Very good. All your guys good now. Weather is better. It should be better. All of you are happy and healthy. I'm so happy. Yes. <laughs> Glad. Thank you. Yeah. God bless, Master. I put protection as much as I can around all of you guys. So oh, wow. I did. I asked the gods also to protect you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whatever little thing you have to go through, a little headache here and there, maybe sometimes too much work. 
Okay. The physical cannot react the way we want. Okay, huh? It's true. Yes. Rest, deep breath, go out, exercise. Okay. You push up. Yes. You must. Okay. Okay, we must. The nature exercise so that you can uh, boost the immune system. Hmm? Okay, master. Give the body what it needs and eat well. Yes, master. Eat well doesn't mean uh, glutinous. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> well, no. it's a combination. Okay. Enough and meditate enough. That's important. At least four hours a day for you guys. Yes, master. Otherwise, you cannot uh, function. Yes. So you guys still continue meditating even if you do your work, okay? Yes, master. And maybe deadline you miss it, then you have to make it up later. Meditate more. Okay, thank you. Yes. Because we have to get out of here. Yes, master. Even if I can get you out, but I want you go out in a higher level, not just out. Liberated from the three walls only. Okay, thank you. Also, yes. if you meditate, you can do your job well. You can have also a little blessing into your work as well. Okay, and for yourself. Okay. I just my blessing, and heaven's blessing. Meditate is like eating. You must. Okay. Yes. All right. God bless all of you, and uh, God love all of you. I love you. Be good. And be humble. Be benevolent. Okay, in your heart. Thank you, Master. Thanks all the girls, yeah, for all the questions and the boys. Yes, we'll do. <laughs> I do thank whenever I do the uh, check-in of their shows. Yes, Master. If they're doing good. If not, then I say, no, this is no good, no good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it might hurt their ego, but I have to. Of course, yes. Right, tell them I just have to tell the truth, always. Yes, Master. All right, thank you. Thank you. So I thank all of you, sincerely. Thank you. Humbly. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Ciao. Cherished viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Whoever Repents Will Go to Heaven Part 3 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples which took place on April 29, 2020. Coming up next is from Marcus Aurelius Meditations Book 2 Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the divine blessings bring you eternal bliss. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.